<laughs> Grace gets steamrolled. You know, I think you're a little bit vulnerable in those positions. Your head is the first thing that's going to get hit, which is obviously you want to protect that as much as possible. Goalkeepers, welcome to the April edition of the Keeperstop.com Goalkeeper Show. One of us is Christian, the other one is Paul, but we are your goalkeeper equipment experts. We have a goalkeeper guest today that is amazing, that's going to give us great feedback, Asmir Begovic. He is the goalkeeper for AFC Bournemouth. What else do we have in store? We have our usual four segments. We're going to have our four saves of the month from April. Asmir is going to pick his favorite. One lucky winner gets a free pair of AB1 goalkeeper gloves. We have our development opportunity of the month submitted by Grace. Grace has won herself $50 in Keeper Stops Rewards cash. Then we're going to have a sneak peek of the brand new gloves at AB1 that are coming in stock for Keeper Stop. And finally, an exclusive that we're really excited about at Keeper Stop that we can't wait to share with you. Blare that out, Danny. Don't let anyone see it until later on in the show. Let's get over to Asmir and those saves. Asmir is currently playing for Bournemouth in the Championship and we're very close to promotion. We're, uh, we're right, right in the playoffs now, aren't we? So, uh, best of luck with that. But we've got Asmir on to discuss four saves that we have for the month of April. A development opportunity as well, where Asmir is going to provide us some uh, insight into what the goalkeeper could have done better. Always love that, right? I mean, we love hearing about the goalkeeper, seeing what they do best. But we have a pro goalkeeper, Ron, that's played at the highest level, has played the EPL, has played in the World Cup. He has a goalkeeper glove company called AB1. You know, he's played in some of the best clubs from Stoke, Portsmouth is where you started, Stoke, Chelsea. You know, uh, AC Milan has worked with some exceptional goalkeepers. I want to know a little bit more about why you started AB1. Yeah, well, first of all, first of all, guys, I uh, really appreciate you having me on the show. It's, it's an honor to be with you guys and uh, talking goalkeeping. Uh, but yeah, in terms of my brand, AB1, very simple name. It took a lot of thinking that one, but anyway, <laughs> it's. Uh, it's something we've started about a couple of years ago, obviously a bit of planning and thinking has been in the works uh, well in advance of that, but um, something we've done in the last couple of years. And for me, it's because I've been in goalkeeping my whole life. My granddad was a, was a goalie. My, my dad was a professional goalkeeper when I was born into that sort of family. So that's something I've done my whole life. And it's just something I wanted to do. I've got some other, my academies and I've been a goalkeeper now for 17 years professionally. It's, it's something I've really wanted to get into. and continue being in even after football and i think my passion for goalkeeping is what made me start it as well so because i've been involved in it my whole life because i want to continue doing it and because we want to create some high level product continue to grow the gk union and just be in that goalkeeping world bring goalkeepers together these are all the reasons um, why i started the brand and we want to thank you for doing that because actually our glove sponsor for the save of the month was ab1 so why don't we get to those videos now Ooh, love Ooh, me a good nice smother save. save. <laughs> oh, that's a nice save. That was a stonewall chance. Yeah, but, I mean, wow. 99 times out of 100. His defenders did him no favors there. <laughs> nice I, don't know how that, good. I don't know how that first one snuck in, but that, that second save is great as well. Ponytail rocking. Here we go. Good footwork. Nice strong hand, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's good positioning as well. Turning in, turning in nicely. Ooh. Ooh, good reactions. Very quality saves. Um, actually, uh, what I loved about it was the variety of the saves. It wasn't really one, you know, two of the same. So the fact that they were different and shows different aspects and attributes of the goalkeeper as well. We also want to hear from you, goalkeeper community. Tell us which one was your favorite. Comment below. And we, as always, appreciate you guys sending your saves to save at keeperstop.com because you can win great goalkeeper gloves such as the AB1. So Yes. So, Asmir, yes, if, you, if you had to pick save out of the four so you had Oren was number one Austin was number two Callum was three and Luca was four which would you say was the best out of the bunch well listen as I said earlier a great selection of saves so well done to each goalkeeper for their saves and um and the, and the good work and obviously keeping the ball out on that but my choice would be Oren and that would be the first save that's a stonewall save that's a that's a goal nine out of ten times at least and what I love about it is the majority of goalkeepers and people would would give up on a ball like that and the fact that he's given himself a chance he's gone for it 
and made an amazing save that m most people don't expect him to make. I think it's just this attitude alone deserves recognition for a save like that. And that should, that should be a teaching tool for a lot of goalkeepers. Never give up on a ball because you just never know. And you might have even put the striker off by diving across the line. So I loved it uh, for many different reasons. Take, it takes guts to get hit in the gut like that. Yeah, that was... his, goal, his defenders did him no favors there. And at one point in time, because of his momentum, it takes him, it turns him around. It almost looks like he gets hit in the in the rear as well. But he got back up to make that, um, you know, be ready yeah. for the next shot, so. Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a quality save and it was, if I'm being biased, it was actually my favorite as well. But the community, Good. the community has spoken, we did, put the four saves out to our community and had them vote on what they thought was the best save. And number four, Luca actually won. And the Luca has also, seen yeah. touch. Yeah, he, I, I, when, I, when I saw the save, it was really impressive, the top hand one onto the bar. And then he gets up and recovers and makes the second save as well. The best part of that save though, is the pout from the striker. If you saw yeah. him, he's like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, yeah, was cool. nice. he was cool as a cucumber. I mean, that ball could not sit up any better for that striker. It was there, it was gift wrapped, had a nice little bow on it. He strikes and he's like, not today. <laughs> you know, punches it out. It's just, it was a great save and I love how, and if you notice the counter attack afterwards, he gets up, makes the saves, collects it. And he's like, okay, let's go boys, come on. Yeah. All in the day's Brilliant. work. Brilliant. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that save. Brilliant. Yeah quality oh. save and because he won save of the month he got to pick a pair of AB1 goalkeeper gloves and he chose the Galaticos so they're going to be on the way to Luca pretty soon. Nice, nice choice, nice choice. Can't beat the uh, Galacticos very popular so I, yeah. I don't blame him. We're looking forward to seeing. I hear that um, this coming weekend you have a debut of a new glove which may appear on the mm. screen floating around somewhere so <laughs> you know that's what we love about um, AB1 and Asmir is that the gloves that he is actually promoting is the gloves that he's wearing. So mm -hmm. it's made by pros for essentially professionals and the rest of us. Right, moving on to our next segment. It is the development opportunity of the month and it, it's been submitted by Grace. So let's get that video on the screen now. Don't. <laughs> Grace gets steamrolled, poor thing. Jeez. So that's is that an attacker or a defender in yellow? I think that's the attacker. Yeah, that's the attacker. Why? Wow, that's a foul. That's yeah, she's been flattened. Like if, if you can circle in, it's like Grace's head is buried in the grass <laughs> in the at the moment right there. Jeez. Yeah. That is a hard hit. But hey, it's all happened to us, right? It's yeah. like we, you know, go in a little bit softer than needed and the, and the striker just keeps going. Has that ever happened to you? Maybe you're not getting your turf buried in the ground, but if you had an overzealous striker come through you. Happened a few times, you know, I think you're a little bit vulnerable in those positions as a goalkeeper. So when you're picking it up, you don't get a lot of protection. So the strikers try and go through your time, send a bit of a message. So um, yeah, it's happened to the best of us. So how would you uh, consult Grace? She's at the AB1 Foundation or the Academy. How would you consult her and help her develop um, that opportunity. What I would teach in that in that instance, especially if it's a ball roll in the ground, I would slide on the ground. So you could really go on top of the ball, cup the ball, and then sort of protect it and protect yourself. Obviously, when you pick it up, you leave your body and leave your head quite exposed, which um, leaves a bit of a target for the striker. But as uh, if you slide on the ground and just smother the ball that way, I think it gives you a lot more protection and doesn't give the striker even a chance to do anything. And either you go through the striker then, or they jump over you and um, you come out of it unscathed. Yeah, to your point, it sends a message as well. If you're calling keeper, you know, yelling it loud, the, the striker is gonna take notice of that. And if you're coming in strong, like, I don't want my leg any part of that collision, so they'll jump over. So now it's a striker getting out of the way of the goalkeeper as opposed to the goalkeeper tenderly going through. So Grace, we love your decision, right? It's the right decision. It just, I would pick a different technique, which is yeah. hands protecting your, your face with your hands, your body is being protected to your, to your yeah. point. Right. And that's something that's easily replicated during a training environment. Yeah. Cause that's the first thing you lead with when you bend over to pick a ball up like that, your head is the first thing that's gonna get hit, which is obviously you want to protect that as much as possible so you know right decision to come out and claim the ball just slightly different technique and she'd have been golden every technique is taught every technique is, is coached and every technique is trained so crew balls like that are no different you know and 
to take it even further, guys, especially when you come into the edge of your box, you know, sometimes it's not just even a smothering technique with your hands. You might have to slide with your feet because you're not you're gonna be a little bit unsure whether you're gonna be able you're gonna be sliding out the box, the ball's gonna make it. So last second. So sometimes it's not even just going with your hands, you might have to practice a different technique and you know, it's uh, little details like that that make a big difference. Yeah, especially in this modern game, right? It's, uh, yeah. you know, everybody wants their goalkeeper to play higher. So deal with the ball in the box, deal with the ball outside the box of their feet. So love it. What did Greece win? Well, for sending in the, you know, the mistake and the development opportunity, Grace wins a $50 gift card to spend at KeeperStop.com, hopefully on some AB1 goalkeeper gloves. <laughs> Very good. Keep sending those saves in, goalkeepers. Goalkeepers, make sure you guys comment below. Um, do you agree with our assessment? Is there anything that you want us to discuss in the future related to goalkeeper technique? Or again, send in your mistake. We want to see them below. And again, they're not mistakes. They're development opportunities. We get to learn from this. So Grace, thank you very much for sharing. And Asmir, thank you very much for your feedback as well. Because again, it's all happened to us. So. It has. Moving on to the next segment. Now we have the community question of the month. So we, uh, we put it out on our Instagram profile like, what questions did you have for Asmir? And we went through them and we picked the best one. Uh, and it came from Gavin McPhee. And Asmir, Gavin wants to know, who is your favorite goalkeeper to watch at the moment in world football? You know, a lot of good goalkeepers out there and always has been, to be honest, and some goalkeepers that are playing incredibly high levels. And um, just for me, my personal preference, you know, I, I I still watch a lot of Manuel Neuer. Growing up in Germany, I've always been a Bayern fan, but for me, he's, he's someone I can relate to, I think just from a body type and, and maybe technique type. So I still love watching Neuer, but you know, honorable mentions to, to Thibaut Courtois, to Ederson, Mark andre Testegen, and, and those boys as well. So uh, Gigi Donnarumma. So they, a lot of these guys to watch. And yeah, I'm, you know, I still now at my age and, and you know, in my, in my stage of my career, I still watch these guys and try and pick up little bits and pieces from them all the time. So he also gets a $25 gift card to keeperstop.com to spend on whatever he would like. Um, so more yeah. keeper stop money, more keeper stop money, <laughs> more keeper stop money. You, you get one, Love you get it. one. How do I get involved in this? <laughs> Take that to the bank. Asmio will send you one as well. You can shop whenever you like. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your feedback um, as always. We wanted to give this opportunity to you as well. We know that you're in, you're much more than just a goalkeeper. You're involved in a lot of different things from obviously uh, what you do in England and in your home country. We'd like to learn a little bit more about you as a goalkeeper and as a person. Tell us a little bit more about the Asmir Begovic Foundation. Well, yeah, thanks for giving me the opportunity to, to do that. Um, I've been in this game a long time and it's been a great ride and um, I've, I've enjoyed some really big moments and obviously been very successful, which, which I don't take for granted. And I've kind of wanted to, in different ways, make sure I give back and make sure I uh, keep contributing positively to society. And um, I've started my charity almost eight years ago now and it's the Asmund Begovic Foundation, which we we build sports facilities. We've done some projects and jobs in Bosnia. We've done some here in the UK where we uh, either build something from scratch, a uh, multi-purpose sports area, or we try and renovate something depending on what the right project is. So we've been really trying to get involved and obviously with the community, just trying to be as positive as we can. And you know, that's sort of a philosophy to AB1. We've created something called the Glove Bank where people can send their gloves in any way, shape or condition to our headquarters here in England. And um, we distribute them to maybe the people that need them more around the world. And that's actually been so cool, you know, cause we've been able to, to help a homeless charity um, in Scotland. So, you know, kids and people who don't have access to gloves, they can play street soccer and use, use the gloves. And we've just done now a um, nice relationship with a um, football academy in Tanzania. So that's gone to Africa and that, that was really cool and seeing those kids be overjoyed by um, getting some goalkeeper gloves that maybe weren't used before sitting in people's garages, storages, wherever. Um, and we've made good use of it and, and get those secondhand gloves out to people that, that will make good use of them and, and enjoy them probably even more than we did. We love what you do on the field, the simplicity, um, the professionalism, you're a role model to many and obviously you know what you're doing off the field is amazing. A AB1, goalkeeper gloves, we know they're making a difference um, and we know that the Asmir Begovic Foundation is making a difference in many countries um, and we appreciate what you do so we want to thank you for being on here. You know if you have any final thoughts for goalkeepers this is your you know, uh, 30 seconds just to give words of wisdom. But I know that you're a busy man, you have other uh, things to do. Well, absolutely. First and foremost, guys, thanks for having me on. I mean, it's it's awesome to have you guys as our partners over there stateside. And uh, we can't wait to continue to grow this partnership and keep getting AB1 gloves and um, 
all our products onto onto kids and everyone um, over there stateside. But my general thought is, listen, enjoy what you do, guys. It's um, it's a blessing to be able to to play football and and have fun with it. You know, I hope you all kind of reach your dreams and goals. But either way, keep playing the game, keep enjoying yourselves. Don't put too much pressure on on yourselves and just uh, enjoy the the fundamental side of the game. Asmir, thank you very much for joining us. Good luck this weekend. And as always, keep in touch. We appreciate you as a as a as a partner as well. And thank you for your feedback. Thank you guys. Thanks, Asmir. Take care. Are you icon? Those AB1 gloves do look great. We can't wait to have the new stock in a keeper stop. However, we must move on to some exclusive news here in the USA for goalkeepers based in the US. I, I, hold on a second. Hello. Guten Tag. Ah, yes. The deal is done. Keeper Stop will be the exclusive distributor in the USA for the 2021 year for All Sport range. One of the staples in the All Sport range is going to be the new All Sport Flex Frame Carbon. It's a new finger protection system, arguably one of the best finger protection systems. So it's four finger. The difference is it's a one piece finger protection system. So it sits on a, a, a plastic piece in the backhand. So if I put it on here, you can see that the actual absorption of the, uh, the shot or the pressure is done throughout the whole system. So one of the best finger protection systems available, super grip latex. This is a high end finger protection glove being worn by advanced goalkeepers, but we're happy to have it because we know that it looks great, it performs better. And again, the important part of this finger protection, flexible, lightweight, but exceptionally supportive. What do you have? Yes, I have the new Pure Alliance Super Grip Plus HN, HN standing for half negative cut. Uh, this is probably my favorite glove that we have in stock right now at Keeper Stock. Bold. It's, it, I think it looks fantastic. I like the minimalist look on the backhand. I like the colorway. This new double wrap wrist strap here as well, which is a new feature on the gloves, gives you a nice secure feel. And listen to that grip. Those high grip elements in the uh, super grip palm there, the black dots that you see, they're going to offer you great grip, really good durability for a game level glove. And this thing fits really, really well. Nice breathable backhand. I, I could be wearing this next week, I'm telling you. Another glove that I think deserves an honorable mention is that I mean, they do have a great offering, but the other one I want to highlight because we play a lot on turf is the Ool Sport Super Resist. So this is a more durable, still could be a game level um, latex in a dry, on a dry day on turf, but this is called the super resist foam. So it's gonna be more durable than the super grip foam or other super soft or all weather foams. So um, for me, this could be a game or practice pair, depending on the level of the goalkeeper, mm. even the budget of the goalkeeper. And you know what? You know, practice gloves for me tend to be, you know, cheaper made, what have you. This feels like a quality glove. Yep. It's a negative cut, fits great. I mean, and yeah. there's grip it's there too, yeah. yeah. So again, you have more durability in the practice environment or even in the game environment, but yet you're saving some money because you have more durability, which is what parents and goalkeepers really want, especially in the US as we get towards camp season during the summer. We're playing a lot on turf. So again, the Ool Sport Super Resist for me, the uh, the new Flex Frame Carbon, if you have any questions, and Paul's, you know, the Super Grip HN, which is one of my favorite gloves also. Yeah, fantastic range. And there are a couple more in stock at Keeper Stop, which you can check out on the website. Uh, but really, really happy to have Ool Sport back in the US. Yeah, so if you use Ool Sport, tell us, we wanna hear from you, which is your favorite glove, and comment down below with uh, you know the glove that you want to see a review of because we're going to be launching some reviews on all of these because again at Keeper Stop we are goalkeepers so we're going to test these so we can speak intelligently about them and help you make the best goalkeeping purchasing decision. Goalkeepers, thanks for tuning in. Christian and Paul from KeeperStop.com. Special thanks to Asmir Begovic for taking time out of his day and telling us about the foundation AB1 and his valuable insights into goalkeeping. Yeah, it's been a great month for April for our saves and our 
development opportunity. So keep sending those in. You can email your saves or your mistakes to save at keeperstop.com. We love seeing them. So send in as many as you can. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow, share, tell your aunt, your uncle, it doesn't matter. We wanna hear from you. So make sure you comment below. Who do you wanna see next? And again, as always, thank you for sharing your time with us and we extend glove love to you and look forward to seeing you next month.